to another short and sweet where the samples and reviews are short. Normally. Normally. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's still really, really uh, sweet. It's actually more sweet when it's a, what's a full bottle, I guess. Never uh, expect those. Yeah, but... yeah. But thank you to Ian and Leslie. Thank you so much. Uh, for this Booker's 2022-03. They seem to always come to our area last, Le which yeah. is, doesn't make any sense because we live in Kentucky. It's made in Kentucky. Why does it get here last? But it's okay. I mean, we're yeah. fortunate enough to have some patrons out there and, and some supporters who see stuff and they hear us talking about it and they send it on over. So, so this is Kentucky Tea Batch. And Which gives me expectations as to the taste, <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about Usually that. Usually not. How do I um, feel about the name? It's 126.5 proof, and mm -hmm. it's yet another one seven that is plus over years. seven years. Yeah, seven years and what is it, four, four months? Four months and 14 days. I like that. 2202, 124.8, and seven years and a month. Mm. Higher and proof. I really like the Lumberyard batch. Yeah, uh, older age. Will this top the Lumberyard batch? I kind of. Find out. Tonight. I would be very impressed if it did. Yeah. That would be very cool. Well, let's see. Oh, I like that nose. It's. It mm, feels hold kind on. of. Less of a Booker's nose and more of like a high proof heaven hill. I that was type of nuttiness. About to say that I feel like this is a true Booker's nose. <laughs> and I'm like, nope. It's rich. It's dark. It's got oak. A little bit of earthy, nutty, chocolatey. It's little a hint of pepper. Oiliness to the to the nose. Which to me all feels like could be in line with traditional Booker's things, but I kind of see, you know, sometimes we get the nutty of, of Beam and the nutty of Heaven Hill. Sometimes they get run very close together. Right. And like a lemon zest. There is a lemon in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it smells good. Lemon zest, yeah. To your health. Oh. Shut up with that <clears throat> mouthfeel. Wow. I was also going to say, you never want to take too big of a first sip on a Booker's, Small which sip. I did because <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> that was a little bit of a mistake. So I'm compromised. I'm compromised. You talk. Okay. My initial thought, as soon as it hit my palate, was yum. The texture of it was really nice, and it was bright up front, and then it's still, you know, moving. Yeah, it's moving in. Not that I'm surprised, but. <laughs> it's brought its boxes. It's unpacking. It's moved in. <laughs> it's signed a five-year lease, I feel like. I'm going to go for another sip just so that I can keep gathering my thoughts. Yeah. Second sip, I will say this. It's not drink. Well, I took a smaller sip for the second time, but it's not. It's not drinking hotter than Lumberyard Batch. Uh -uh. Um, it does have sort of that citrus, um, that lemon-y mm. vibe in there. And I don't know if I would call this a typical Booker's. I think it's running a touch sweeter yeah. than a typical Booker's, but I really like it yeah. because it has that like citrus pop a little bit. And then there's like a nice, you know, melted brown sugar thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. And there's a nice balance of the oak. Like I think that seven years and four months is hitting just perfect. And then yes. it really builds and swells into this heat and it really settles in. Not a hot, not like an aggressive heat, but just a welcome warmth. Mm -hmm. We'll call it hashtag welcome warmth. Welcome warmth, okay. And it's just a nice, soothing, <sighs> yummy pour. I just, I'm really into the mouthfeel. Wow. Well, before we take our third sip, we want to oh. pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get this Rye or Die shirt. Rye or Die here on the back. Uh, hats. You cannot uh, get this you yet. You cannot get this yet. Uh, that this will is... be that's a little preview, a little tease. Yes, a little holiday special. Will it be on sale? I don't know. It will. Uh, but also our Glen Cairns, all of our glassware, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash itsbourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release exclusive after the episode content, uh, our barrel picks, and more. Third sip. <clears throat> I haven't gone yet. Really liking this. I feel like this is sort of like a, it's a little atypical Booker's, but uh, but also elevated Yeah. In, in a way. And I'm not getting like uh, 25th or 30th anniversary vibes, Ooh. but it is like a little left of center type of Booker's, but in, it's not like an off profile Booker's, that sounds bad. It's an atypical, which I don't know if that sounds any better, but it's unique. It is unique in a good way. In a good, in way. A good way. Yeah, this one is really cozy for me. Like it's a yummy piece of like bread or coffee cake with a big warm glass of like really delicious herbal tea that's got honey and a little bit of lemon and you're sitting with a blanket around you by a fire and it's the morning time or something. But there's booze. But there's booze. And it's just so cozy and wow. everything's good, you know? Oh. Life's mm. good in this moment. And this mouthfeel is incredible. It's very viscous and I can't get over just coats. how much it's doing the hug every time spreading out. I mean, that's 
very usual for a Booker's, but this one is doing a real good job of it. This one's gonna have to go up against head to head with the Lumberyard, the Lumberyard. Batch to see the best of the year so far. And we haven't even seen the 04 release. Will, Will we? we even see it? It's November. It's early November at this point. 03 hasn't even shown up in our area, so I doubt 04 will. I highly doubt we'll see it. So what will we do? Wow. Guess we won't be able to review it. Wow. I'm super impressed with this batch. I really wasn't expecting it after a Lumberyard batch being sort of a return to form. But here's another contender, 2022. I like the path that we're on. It's out to yeah. be a tremendous year for bookers. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe one of the best in recent years. Definitely one for the books. One for the bookers. <laughs> Love it. Well, hey, that's where we gotta leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Ian. And Leslie. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.